six foot four Balenciaga all black. Hey guys, oh my hair looks bad. Hey guys, good morning. If it's your first time here, my name is Alexis. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Um, today's Friday. It is the morning time. It is. Uh, you know what? Let me just sit down. Let me sit down and let me make a list because I have so much. Hold on. Don't want you guys to be jumping. I have so much to do today because today is Friday. I have so much, like, I have to do a photo shoot. I have to shoot in some of the pieces. I need to, like, do so much. So, like, that's why my hair is on, my wig is on because I need to get really be getting out of here. It's 8.18 right now. I plan to be out of this house before 9 o'clock at the place by 9 o'clock. I don't know. Yeah. And, like, starting to take pictures. I need to take, I need to shoot a lot of pieces. So I am like stressed out about it because you know, taking pictures in the car, like getting dressed in the car and like trying to change is like so hard sometimes. No, every time, especially when it's hot. Today, the weather is beautiful. So that's why I need to get out of here before like the sun start to come out because right now the weather is perfect. Like the weather is never like this in Houston where it's like cool outside. It's perfect. So I'm excited about getting out here today and taking pictures and getting these photos in. Because last week I was only literally able to take two pictures because it was so hot. Like I was only able to do two outfit changes because it was so hot. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm about to die out here. So, and I was shooting fall clothing. So I was like, I can't, I can't do this. So I was only able to shoot two, which means I have a ton of pieces to shoot. I got some new inventory in yesterday. So it's like it's a lot it's probably gonna i don't know as you can tell i'm a little bit frustrated right now it's just because i'm trying to think about everything i need to do um and i don't know how many pieces i'm gonna be able to get in but hopefully i'm able to get in enough pieces so that i can post those pieces today this weekend is going to be a little bit busy for me mostly doing business stuff um so much business stuff to do like you know when you work for yourself it's like all you so literally there are no days off and you know it's the weekend and i've only gotten one video up this week for youtube so i have to like i have videos filmed that's the thing i just have not been able to edit them so michael has, has helped me edit them I asked him to help me like with at least one video a week so he's helping me edit but um I still got to go back and like do the final edit and things like that. Um, so he does the bulk and then I'm going to go back and do the final. So I have to finish up on a video that he actually completed the other day. I just haven't had time to sit back, sit down and add the little add-ons that I want to add on to it. Um, and then get it up. <laughs> like it's literally, it's, it's nearly done, but it's just little things I need to like add to it. So yeah. Good thing is he's about to start helping me now. I may ask him to help me do two videos a week because honestly, I just some like I just can't like I can't do this by myself. I need a little bit of help on one um, on one of the uh, platforms. So I actually, just finished. I went to drop my go off this morning, and I literally just finished meeting someone with an order. So if you guys didn't know, if you live in Houston, I do do a local pickup. So if you want to place an order and you don't want to go through shipping then i am happy to um meet you guys with the order it's just something that i've added on to the business I'm trying to write all this down because it's like i feel like if i see it written out then i won't get so stressed it'll just be like checking things off of my list i have an eyelash appointment today actually i don't know if i have it because the girl hasn't i set an appointment the other day but I, she hasn't she hasn't sent me over like the address and stuff, which I understand because it's probably her personal address, so she hasn't sent it over to me yet, but I'm supposed to have a lash appointment today. As you guys can see, I have literally no lashes and I'm feeling very, very disconnected <laughs> right now. Like I don't feel like a baddie when I don't have no lashes, so. But I'm excited about this girl though because she does, like I've seen her work and it literally is what I've been looking for. I feel like all of these like franchised or i even started to go to like a store like another lady that just started doing lashes and i'm not impressed like i feel like for what i pay baby i should have butterfly lashes and i don't even want all that but for the price i pay i feel like i should have that 
and I don't feel like I'm getting that with these people I have been going to. So, and like they're just falling out. Like it's been two weeks and literally I have not one lash on. Like granted I did pull them off because this new girl, like the new people, anytime you go somewhere new, they don't like working on other people's work. So I had to really take off the rest, but it was literally like very sparse of what I had left. I was just like, you know, I thought I was gonna like this lady, but when I seen this girl lashes and how she do and how she like, for what she, what you pay you, she actually fill your lashes up. I'm like, yes. Oh, you know what? I'm about to do my makeup and I guess I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you guys me doing my makeup. way later in the day it's almost six o'clock honestly mm -hmm. so uh, just an update today was a success photo shoot went very very well I actually got a chance because the weather was like not too bad at all it didn't end up heating up but because the weather was not too bad I was able to shoot a lot of pieces which is what I was trying to do so I'm very happy about um I've already started to post some of the items on the site so that's a plus because they were so good i really barely even had to edit like i put like a little little one two on there and i was done 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 and that's how good they turned out so that's good to hear i ended up getting my lashes done my lashes are so bomb i'm so in love with them so i went with this new girl small black owned business and i love her i am over and done with going to like the franchised um eyelash places because literally you charge they charge you so much money and then you don't even get like this like not even close to this and this is what i be looking for so she is my new girl she's a very affordable and i love her um like it was my first time going to her i feel like her prices are affordable and her work is bomb and she's quick too so definitely um definitely my go-to now uh for lashes and she's really close to my house i mean it's just too much like right you know she's affordable she is um close to my house like duh i'm going to her but yeah i have been i had to take up all my makeup i was going to show you guys my makeup but after i came back from outside doing all those photos my makeup was done anyway i don't even think i showed you guys after i've even finished it but it was cute though um it was real cute. Anyways, I'm exhausted. Like, I've been ripping and running all day. You know, it's, when you, it's one of those days you just rip and run. And I feel like tomorrow I have to do kind of the same thing, but less, a little bit less intense, but still kind of like the same thing. And so I'm just like, Lord, I'm tired. I'm tired. 
okay? We stopped and got something to eat on our way home, and I wanna show you guys, if you guys go to Smoothie King, let me show you guys, we stopped and got smoothies too, but I wanna show you guys my favorite smoothie from Smoothie King, so. If you ever go, ooh, the lighting is so bad. If you ever go to Smoothie King, which is like, you know, they make smoothies, whatever. Get the Mango Fest. This, I got an extra one because today is $5 Fridays, but I got an extra one because I like to put this one in the freezer. And then on Sunday, what I'm going to do is take a spoon and just eat it like a, you know, like a cool cup. You know, like the old days, like a cool cup or like a popsicle, whatever you want to call it. It's so good. It's my favorite smoothie now from Smoothie King. And so that's literally all I get. <laughs> and I drink it so bad. So I'm going to save this one for Friday. I mean for Sunday. And then I got this one for today. Mm -hmm. We end up getting some food. And I'm going to show y'all this food because the food is so bomb. It's Berea. Berea. I'm probably saying it wrong. Tacos. It's, I don't know if y'all got it. It's hard to do this. But it's like pretty much beef stewed tacos that are amazing, right? So I'm gonna show you guys how they look before I start eating them. Let me take a little, let me get a little picture. So here are the tacos. They're called the Barilla tacos, but pretty much they are like beef. This beef is like stewed like for like a week, <laughs> I think. And then on Friday, cause the place that I go to only makes it, only serves it three times a week, which is on the weekends because they like stew the beef all week. And then they dip the tortilla inside of the same juice that they stewed the beef in. And then they provide you with that same broth on the side and you like dip your taco in it. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Let me know if you guys have ever tried these tacos before. I currently right now don't have any cheese on them. I'm gonna put some dairy free cheese on them and they're gonna be bomb. Like they are so, so good. They're my favorite, favorite tacos. You know, I am a taco girl. I can eat tacos every night. <laughs> I can eat tacos every single night. So I'm looking forward to tearing into these tacos in just a bit because they good. I want to mention to you guys this watch because it's cute. I want to show you guys this watch. I'm going to link it down below for you. But I was watching Asia, Asia Nari's video and she was talking about like alternative like good quality watches. And so this one, well she didn't get one just like this one but she got the same style, like the same kind of classic style like this. And when I went on there, I was like, oh my gosh, they have such good watches. Like I had never heard of this company before, but it's called ja Jaques du Man Manor or whatever. Anyway, I love these watches because they look very, very expensive. And I'm like super sold on them. Like I wanna go and get like everything that they have because their watches are so, so good. And they're so nice. Like this looks like, it gives you the illusion of, oh, this watch probably cost me thousands of dollars. And it didn't only cost me like under $200. So it's like really, really good watches. And I think that if you're looking for a good quality watch, because I haven't worn watches like that in years. But, you know, I haven't had good quality watches since Michael Forrest days. And honestly, those weren't really good quality because all of them like have some type of fading on it. So I don't know. But like, I don't know. I used to wear watches a lot, but... I had stopped for a long time up until just, you know, a couple weeks ago when I saw Asia, I mean, Asia's video and her watch was like so bomb. She had just purchased her first watch from them after seeing them off an ad on Instagram. And I was like, yes, I went on there and found one for me. I think I have like, I don't have the biggest, the biggest uh, face and I don't have the smallest face. I have the like middle one. I think it's like 26 inch, something like that. But yeah, this is perfect for me. I wear it almost every day and I think it's cute for like you know especially if you want to dress up and accessorize your outfit I feel like accessories do matter when it comes to outfits you know we get lazy and think that they don't but I feel like it makes an outfit so if you have a cute little watch or a cute little bracelet you know things like that really matter I think I want to do a video on like accessories that you should have Hmm, that's not a good video, huh? Cause like people, some people don't know, even I don't like, so when I see people and they mention something or if I see something on their neck, like I think that like, that's when I start buying it because I'm like, dang, that would go great with my everyday look or that would go great with an outfit. Like, yeah. So I think that I want to do a video like accessories you should have to style any outfit or like must have accessories, something like that. Let me write that down. Cause I just thought of that. <laughs> 
Let me know if you guys want to see that because, you know, you might want to know how to style your outfits with accessories. Hey, we shall see, you know. <laughs> I'm going to eat and then I will catch up with you guys in a bit or maybe tomorrow because I'm exhausted. Good morning. So it is Saturday morning at like 7. It's just like a little bit after 7. Um, after those tacos last night, y'all, like I literally was out. Like I don't remember much after the tacos because I was out. Like I was so tired from yesterday. Wasn't much left of me after that. I woke up throughout the night, but I didn't just like wake up, you know? So, yeah. Ooh. I'm about to drink this new energy drink that I found at the um, grocery store the other day. Um, I've been using drinking Celsius for the past, I swear, a few months now, but I feel like I'm kind of getting tired of the taste. So, I'm like trying to try something else. So, let me see what this is about. It's called tropsicle it does have carbs in it but i don't care about that um it's zero sugar gluten-free vegan and it has biotin b6 and b12 in it so let us see if it's even good or not because you know some energy drinks have that energy drink taste so oh this good This literally does not taste like an energy drink. It tastes like a soda, like a soda pop. <laughs> it tastes like a soda pop, okay? You know when stuff's so good, you gotta do this. That's how good this is. It's so good. It's almost like I needed this this morning. Hopefully it gives me energy in the, um, in the gym, cause I need some working out this morning but I promised myself that I would at least do five days a week at the gym so it's a bus that I go today and finish out my last day today we're going to go look at a house I'm gonna see if I can bring you guys with me we're gonna go look at a house we are thinking about oh no now we are thinking let me change that we are moving we're moving in the next couple months and we need to find a place to stay it's still kind of too early for us to even go for what we're trying to like go and look like look but we're looking right now because you know who knows that same space might be available in october which is october is like our final like we have to make a decision in october because we've already turned in our 60 day notices with our current living space at the place we stay at now damn they got a lot of y'all we've already turned in a 60 day notice but now it's like we we're trying to lease a house and so to be able to do that um you can only do that 30 days in advance um so right now we're just looking at potential properties hey these properties may be sold out i mean we're already taken by the time we get there but we want to keep looking because we know what area we want to stay in we want to see these houses inside because one of them is a three-story townhome and the other one is a two and i'm really either one i will be happy with it's like pros and cons to both of them uh one of them i went to go look at it in person like just go look at the like drive by and i didn't like online he had like one of the brown fences like regular everybody backyards do and this in the in person he actually had like the bar fence he actually had like the black bars up and i don't like that I mean, because I have my dogs outside, and you know dogs get excited, and they get to barking every time somebody run up. So, having one of those, like, bar fences, like, I know I need something closed in where they can just chill outside and be comfortable. I can leave them outside, and they're not all going crazy when they see people pass by. So, I... I mean, we couldn't even sign for it anyway, but, you know, I like that area, and the good thing is they're still building in the area so i have hope that it will be uh he will have something that i actually like in the next month so i'm gonna keep my fingers crossed for that for that one especially if this one that we're gonna go see today ends up getting leased out before we can get to it then i'm definitely gonna want to uh go with him but i just hope he has something i like
right guys, so the gym was a success. I don't know if it was this new um, energy drink that really got me through it, but I think it was like, not one time did I just feel tired or did I just feel like, <laughs> you know, because sometimes energy drinks make you feel like you're going crazy. Um, not at all. Um, make sure you sanitize your hands when you get in the car. <laughs> um, it didn't feel like that one time. Like, I just felt like I was working out. You know, also what helps me get to the gym is watching vlogs, you know. So y'all should do that, you know, preferably my vlogs. You guys should watch them while you're working out. It helps you get through it, like, because you just listen to it. It's like a lot of times, a lot of the vlogs I watch are just, I'll just, this is, is literally where I start watching new people's vlogs. Um, and I get caught on to new people because I'm like listening to them. And if it like, I don't know, like I don't personally need to listen to music when I'm working out. I just need like some voice in my head that'll help distract me. I feel like music, Sometimes it's like, I don't know, I be looking at the clock when it comes to music, but when I'm watching a vlog, I'll just like, sometimes vlogs be like 30 minutes, so by the time I get to the end of it, it be like time to go, or you know, or I'll just watch another one, you know? Uh, depending on which who's or which it is or whatever, but yeah, those are calming to me, and lately I have just been, sometimes I'll go back and forth, but lately I've just been doing vlogs, and I swear, the time at the gym goes by so fast, like I don't even notice that I'm in the gym. definitely try vlogs when you um especially doing cardio like if you're just doing like treadmill or stairmaster put on a vlog it's so preferably mine <laughs> uh put on a vlog while you're doing that and i swear it'll help you get through it so much faster So it's a little bit later, well, a lot bit later. <laughs> it's been a while since we, um, since I hopped back on here. It's been hours. We have did a lot in the past few hours and whew, I'm tired. Um, I look so oily, like not even oily, just shiny, but skin kinda look good. <laughs> we went to go look at the house. I was telling you guys about this morning. It's a no for me. It's a no for Michael, so we still looking it's not gonna work um it looked like the lady kept saying oh they just repainting the house it didn't look like that it just it had a small refrigerator in there I, it was just that's why i really like to go for new constructions when it comes to renting renting houses because a renting yeah renting houses when i'm I've never rented a house, but it's my first one. But when it comes to renting houses, I think I'm, try, I'm trying to look for like newer ones because I be feeling like they just be doing whatever and the ones that's already been rented, I don't know, it's crazy. Right now, we're eating cream tree ice cream. It's so good. Looking for a place to stay is stressful. It really is. Hey guys, so it is Sunday, um, 3.46 in the afternoon was just taking a very 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 good nap but you know what well it wasn't really a good nap because honestly i really can't take naps but i have so much to do like i kept waking up to see what time it is like it's just like i just couldn't really get into the nap like i want to just because i know i have so much stuff to still do for the day um i wanted to share with you guys some new stuff i bought but before i do i want to tell you guys that girl yes so I will be trying the new NARS Soft Matte Foundation. I kept, I posted a video today and I literally keep getting questions about it. So, yes I will. I will be trying, actually I just ordered that and some more things from Sephora. So as soon as they come in, I ordered two foundations. I ordered the Rare Beauty Foundation. So if you've been wondering about that one, I will be doing a video on that one as well. Granted that the color that comes in is my right shade. <laughs> so I ordered the foundation and concealer with them so we shall see because I do have a NARS concealer so I don't need to reorder you know that but as for the Rare Beauty I've been I've been hearing about it a little bit so I want to try it and see if it's a uh and see how it applies to my skin it's really um a little bit my my 
foundation reviews have to be a little bit different because these are the days of more of COVID still for me. I only work from home. So you know how like back in the day, I used to be able to like wear it all day at work and I'm in, I'm around different temperatures all day. So it's like, um, me having to wear it for eight hours, that's not likely gonna happen now. I'm more so now just gonna be seeing mostly if the shade applies well to my skin and how the finish is. So I'm kind of transitioning the the um, reviews into those type of things more so. I don't know who's wearing a foundation for more than eight hours nowadays because, or even a long time nowadays because no one's really I would like that, you know? So yeah, that's how those reviews will come when they do come. I should have them in by this upcoming Thursday. So we'll see when um, I'll be able to get that video, those videos up. Also just an update on the houses. Cause I feel like, I don't know if I gave you guys an update on the house situation yesterday. So we found a townhome that we love. Actually, we had low expectations for these townhomes, but then when we went inside of them, they have redone them. They're new construction townhomes, but the pictures that they were showing online were so different from how they actually look in them. I'm just like, yes, yes, yes. Like, you tell me. There's a few things that I look for in a like place I'm staying. I now want gas stoves, like that's a must for me. And also I want quartz or granite countertops, like that's like another must for me. Um, also I need a backyard. And so this one, I think I was telling you about this like maybe yesterday or earlier. This one is the one that has a backyard, but it's like fenced instead of, it's like fenced instead of like the brown. So it's like gated instead of fenced and so um you can see through it but i found out an alternative way to like so i found out a way to fix that because everything else is perfect about the place except for that thing so i just think that it's now time to figure out like an like how to fix that little small problem of not having privacy in your backyard and i figured out a way online like you could put like grass up um, around your um, backyard and I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing if we give with that place G mind you we're talking in I have two weeks and now three days before I can even apply for the life of the townhome because um, that'll be like 30 days out from when we can move so in the play in the any lease that you're gonna do you can only do it 30 days out unless it's an apartment then you do it 60 days out but um, yeah um, we'll have two weeks and three days I'm counting down like the ones we saw, I'm so in love with. They're not even completed yet. So it would be new construction. We'd be the first ones living in there. So I'm like excited. And I hope nobody else leases it out because we'll be the first ones. <laughs> and it'll be so exciting. It'll be so exciting because we've been wanting a townhome for a very long time. It's just, you know, one finding one in our price range and then finding one that we love. The first one we went to go see yesterday was terrible. She was talking about they had fresh new paint. It looked like a dog had ran through there and you know what i hate honestly it looked like people had ran through there honestly you know what i hate when um you go somewhere and they try to blame the facility like the way something looks or like or try to say that pets cause like damage to places i feel like honestly people cause more damage than <laughs> dogs like this is how i feel they had this really small refrigerator in a big old townhome like I don't understand and then also in the townhome the living room space looked bigger online than we got in there it was just like small but that don't even matter though we've already x those out because the ones that we really 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 want is the three-story and it's beautiful and I honestly am praying every single day no one takes that um because it's two available no one leases out one of those and we get to get into or like at least one but then we'll get the other one you know that is my hope so uh i'm really excited i'm excited about this move so much work to do before we can even get to the moving process so i um i'm excited i'm excited but we still got some weeks to come with that i will be walking you guys through our process remember two weeks and three days before i can apply and then that means 30 38 days before we move out of this apartment. <laughs> 38 days before we move out. I'm excited. 
anyway i want to show you some guys some things i picked up this week i have some pr here and i also have some things that i just purchased you know because i'm i have a problem um when i went to make that sephora purchase i was get out of control i had to really back i had to remember a move is in process and you have to save so um literally that's what i'm doing well let me show y'all the stuff i bought but you know it's saving time now 38 days 38 days guys so anyway i want to show you some got some shoes that i bought so i purchased these really cute doc martens i have been wanting some doc martens for the longest time and the was it last week or the week before i bought some feelers and my friend was like oh you bought feelers like oh feelers feelers, feelers. I don't even want to get into that. Anyway, I returned the feelers, and when I was in the store yesterday, I picked up these because I had been wanting them, so I just used my credit to get these. Now, these were way more expensive, of course, but they are worth it. I feel like with all my fall looks for an everyday look or just for a trendy look, this is going to be the look. Platforms are in, and I am ready for them, okay? I love this boot. It's such a good sturdy boot. This boot, this type of boot lasts you so long. It's waterproof and it's just tough, tough as heck. So this is like an investment shoe, I feel like, because it, the price it is, you know, it's almost like, I'm like, it's almost $200. Well, it is almost $200 for this shoe. And, you know, but it is a good rain boot, everyday boot, like, this is a sturdy boot, but it's so super duper cute. I love them and I can't wait to put them on with a dress or some jeans. You know, just really mix it up. Super excited about those. Some PR here that I think I can share with you guys. Yeah, one of them, which is this one I'm opening, it said I couldn't share with you to the ninth. Well, of course it's way after the ninth. So I'm gonna share it with you. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know what's in here, but we're gonna see. Ooh, I should have had it. Hmm, okay. I still have yet to use that Urban Decay one. I am so sad. Man, this one looks pretty though. Like, look at the packaging. The packaging is so beautiful. I love Charlie Tilbury's products. Like, oof. Man, every time I get a palette from her, I'm excited. Look at this beauty. Like, the packaging is like, wow. I feel like because the season is starting to change. Ooh, shoot. Look at these colors. The season is starting to change. They're starting to do more of the, um, like the, like glittery type things, you know? Man, look at those colors. I feel like there are colors in here for any type of look. You got your reds, you got your browns, you got your mix, your purpley and pinks, and you got your brown browns for your deeper skin tone over here. Um, so this is like the lighter, and this is like the more neutral toned. I love, love, love this palette. Like this is, this is the perfect palette, I feel like. Like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get into this. I actually may do a look, like I actually will probably do a look this week using these. And so I'm gonna show you this with the, it has these numbers on it. So you're supposed to use these certain colors. Can you see it? You use these certain colors together to create your look. So it's almost like you have four colors, one palette. Well, four looks, one palette. Love it. It's perfect. It's perfect. This is what I need. I love this because you know what? For beginners, some people don't know. Like when you're a beginner, you don't really know. You just know you want to look, but you don't know how to get the look and i feel like with this type of palette it gives you like the, it shows you exactly how to do a look and it doesn't matter now all you have to do is focus on blending at this point so i love this palette love 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 this palette and i cannot wait to get it on my eyes let me put that back please don't mess it up don't mess it up all right i'm gonna put this up because i don't want to mess it up hmm girl all right so that is beautiful and i think that i cannot wait to try that Next, I have some here, Wonder Beauty. Wonder Beauty is is mostly, I don't know, I've mostly, they have, they do makeup and skincare. I'm mostly um, really into their skincare. Let's see what they got for us today. They have a moisturizer. They have a, ooh, they have this um, essence toner, which I already know what it is and I love it. They have this glow oil, which is really good as well. And they have this lip retreat, which is dry as my lips right now. I need to put this on my lips right now. I know what this is. It's really good. It's 
I need to put this in my purse because it just high, helps hydrate your lips. I am, my lips are so, always so dry. This is actually a different color. This is a new color of theirs, I think. Because the, the one that they used to have used to be like of a reddish tone. So this is more a neutral oil. Mm. And it doesn't have a scent to it. So it's perfect. It's just the oil. Mmm. Yes. It's just a hydration oil for the lips. I've been needing this especially in the morning time because my lips be super duper dry. I've never tried their moisturizers, but let me smell it. Can you smell it? But it is the Dive In Hydration Moisture Dive In Moisturizer. It's supposed to give you 72 hour hydration. Hmm, okay. I wanna try that out. And then they have the Miss Connection. Um spray i love this spray if you're looking for like a toner spray and this is a really really good one look how it looks it looks like milk look. it looks like milk and it's just so refreshing to the skin can you see and it's so good i love this stuff love 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 when we move i'm getting my skincare little area together because right now it is a tragic mess i just have stuff dumped anywhere i need to let go of the old and let in the new because it is a lot here yeah, they just sent their updated well some more they just sent me some more of their skincare which i love their skincare love 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 so good so, so good so lastly this week i picked up this cute little curling iron from um amazon let me show you guys it's like the crimper the one that gives you like waves so as you guys know, I have started to wear, you know, weave again. I know you can't tell right now. <laughs> I've started to wear hair again. So I've been wanting to do more of a wavy look, more so than curls. I feel like it's not the time right now for curls. Like, um, but I've been trying to create the wavy look with my flat iron and it has not been working. So I picked up this to give me more of a wave instead. And so I'm gonna try this out and I'll let you guys know how it works out for my hair. I probably do like, I don't know, I don't know I'm gonna do a video, but maybe in my next vlog I will be using it. Definitely something I've been waiting to come in. I had ordered it, I don't know what happened to the one I had ordered and it got lost in transit, so I had to order it again. And now, so I had to order it again and now this week I finally have it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for all the things I've purchased this week. Um, oh, look at this. So if you guys tried this, let me know. I haven't tried it yet, but it smells so good. It's the Olay, Olay Fresh Outlast Rose Water and Nectar. It has B3 complex in it and it's a body wash. It smells so good. I cannot wait to put it on my skin today and ooh, get a little rubby dub dub in the tubby tub tub. <laughs> anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this vlog. I have it's Sunday. I'm whack I want to try to actually get this up today. Let's see if I can do it. Achieve my goal of doing two videos in one day. Um, I'm definitely going to try to get this up for you guys because I said two videos one day. I just posted my other video a couple hours ago. So if you haven't already watched that, definitely go watch that. And um, yeah, that's all for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out, girl. Bye.